Welcome back to the channel guys. We're taking a look at capping our game frames here on the Steam Deck or really any PC using Rivatuner. I've done this for years on my PC. It's a great way to cap your frames and it often works much better than in-game capping when it comes to frame times. So let's get in and take a look at it. We're here on our desktop on our Steam Deck and the first thing you're going to want to do is go grab yourself MSI Afterburner which is going to give you Afterburner and Rivatuner to get this done. So you want to download your file and get ready to install that. Now I already have everything set up here on my Steam Deck, but I'm going to show you the general process. So let's go ahead and go in here to our downloaded file we just grabbed for MSI. We're going to click on here. We'll double click. We'll double click again. And then we'll be able to open up the setup process. Now I won't go through the whole process here as mine's already set up and customized, but I just want to show you a couple important things. So we'll get started here once this opens up. Click OK. Click Next. We're going to agree. Now again, I'm not going to go farther than this, but make sure Rivatuner is checked off here. Sometimes it isn't by default, and we need both of these programs to install through this process. So once you verify that, uh, just click Next and continue on through and install that. Install Riva. It'll pop up, and you'll be good to go. All right, so let's close this out, and I'll show you what happens next. Because the first time you open MSI Afterburner, it's not going to auto-open Riva, and we want to fix that. It's super simple to do. So I'm going to open up my Afterburner. Yours will look a little bit different than mine. Mine is... Uh, customized and changed here and then you can see it opened up both for me here because I'm already set up so in order for that to happen once you open up MSI Afterburner for the first time leave it open go to this PC go into your local disk program files x86 go to your Rivatuner statistics and then go find your RTSS right here application double click to open once you double click and open that, then both your programs will be open. And from now on, MSI Afterburner, when you open it, will automatically open and close Rivatuner with it. It's just that first time they're not hooked together and you do need to go in and do that manually. Once you do that, you'll be all set up for that, ready to go. Now inside MSI Afterburner, if you want to get into making changes, you can. There's a lot of customization to do. I can't get into all that in this video. It would take a long time, but you can go into your monitoring check off different things that you want to see but frame time would be the important one if you're wanting to adjust and be able to see your actual frame times in your games here now Rivatuner, this is what we're actually going to use to adjust our frame rates and lock those down per game or globally now i do have global settings here at 60 i have guardians of the galaxy here i was messing around with that we'll get into that and a little bit of overwatch which isn't a game you really need to mess with frame rate limits because it runs 60 fps great here on the deck on windows but uh, i'm using it as an example anyway as far as global i've got that at 60 for now if you put it to zero it won't do anything and any games under that that you add will override that setting anyway so what i'm going to do is click add i'm going to go to where i have guardians of the galaxy installed and then i would be able to click on its application exe file so that it would add it to Riva. you do this with any game you want to add you click add you go find its exe file wherever you have it installed and then you put it in here now if you want to add a game pass game it's a little different on windows the way they install so if i go to click and add any kind of game pass game it'll come back with giving me that i don't have permission and no matter what you do you cannot really unlock that and you can actually mess it up to where game pass won't work so what you need to do is launch whatever game pass game you want to add to arrive tuner to cap its frames and then once you launch it you'll be able to then go in and do it i had this in windowed mode to show you more easily but you could easily tab with your windows key or whatever to get back to your desk desktop once your game's open you're going to want to go click on Riva Tuner, bring it up and then you're going to want to shift click on add and that's going to bring up this little menu for 3d applications that are running and you'll be able to check off what you want to add i'm just going to add the asphalt 19 for now to show you but any game pass game you have open or any other game you have open really should be showing up in that list and you can just add it manually and then once you do that you do need to go over here to detection level put it on low so you have access to all your options and then now you can go in and you can play around with your frame rate so you'll see in real time actually if i adjust this uh, the game will start coming down and capping itself uh, to this this works really well and gives great frame times versus in-game capping same thing over here on Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is actually a good example for one that I like to run at 30 or 40 on the deck, though it can do a little better, but it runs really smooth this way. Um, I can actually run at 40 FPS pretty well. Um, so this definitely helps a lot. And again, you can see in real time here that I'm able to go around through here and change these. Now, if you take these all the way down to zero, again, that just turns it off. Um, and then global would take over. And if you had that at zero, then you would just be back to not having any caps at all other than what you set in game. So really easy to use here not complicated at all when it comes to setting this up per game and then once you do it you're good to go and you can always delete it out 
or anything you want here in Rivatuner to make that easy. So let's get a little bit more into it here because even though this game can run at 60 sometimes, when you get outside or you get into combat, there's just a lot of areas that the frame rate's really going to come down, even though I have things running pretty low here with high textures to kind of help make it look nicer. But you're still going to dip here and there and run in just 60 open like this with the frame times and stuff you'll suffer a little bit more later and i wouldn't expect the game to run that well at 60 on the steam deck it's not really meant to but 30 or 40 fps even 45 is a lot better so let me go in here and we'll take a look at that so i'm going to change this over and we'll pick a different one here open up riva now we'll turn this back on just by adding our limit here I'll go ahead and put us at 40 because that's a common one for Steam Deck. Even though we don't change the hertz of the screen this way like you do on Steam OS, it does still help a lot. And 40 FPS is super smooth in this game most of the time. Really smooth, no frame spikes, uh, nice frame times, even when I get out in combat and things like that. I'm just using this area for some consistency to show you guys the, the point of the idea here to use Riva. But yeah, you can do a lot with the frame rate with this game and any game that you add. Get them all set up and get the kind of performance you want. It's kind of a way of of doing what SteamOS can already do, but doing it in Windows, a little more complicated, but once you set it up, it's good to go. Now, Overwatch pretty much runs 60 FPS anyways on Windows. I don't have too many issues. I do get less frame time spikes by allowing global or the Overwatch setting in Riva to kick in. Um, I don't even need VSync that way if I don't want to or anything like that. That's another thing, um, you know, you don't necessarily need to worry about. But say I wanted to bring uh, Overwatch down to like 45 FPS. Maybe I'm running low on battery or whatever the issues may be uh, that I want to do that. You could go in there, do that really quickly, and then you'll get a really smooth frame time. Even though you're losing that 15 FPS, you're not going to get really any stutters or spikes and things will feel really nice too. So just different applications and especially for other games. Like I said, Overwatch not the perfect example of needing to be able to do this but it works well now we could go ahead and take this up to maybe 55 say the 60 uh, fps is giving us a few uh, hitches here and there for whatever reason or on certain maps and we wanted to give it that just a little bit of an edge well 55 locked would uh, also help a little bit in this particular game depending on what what game you're in but just as an example you can really customize each game to run how you want here on windows on the deck and I think this is one of the best ways to cap the frames for the games. It's really easy once you get used to it. And once you're set up, you don't have to worry about it. You launch Riva, you launch your games, and you're good to go. Go ahead and push this back up to 60 and then you'll see it bump back up. So I just think this is really cool, guys. For me, I've been doing this for years on PC, and now I'm doing it a lot on the deck because I'm using Windows a bit, and it's working really well. Let me know if this helps you guys out. I appreciate you coming to watch. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave me your comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.